Hello. Are you ready to do some numbers? It's a bit like work, but it can also be fun. I'm going to say all the numbers from 1 to 10 very quickly, and then we can go and play with each one. Is that all right? Good. OK, ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was very low, wasn't it? Oh, good. Here's Katie. I think she's going to start us off. She's going to start with number one. One is me, Katie. Here I am, all by myself. But I'm not by myself for long. Here comes Ollie, my baby brother. And that makes two of us. Number two. Two is a very useful number. You need two to play a game of hide-and-seek. Or a bouncing game like the one I play with Grandpa. Two things often go together in pairs. Like, um, like shoes and socks. Or clashing saucepan lids. Or... These twin babies, who were born on the very same day. Number three. Three is company when my friend Nora comes to play. Or when our cat Ginger is in a good mood and lets us stroke her. Look, here's Ollie, our cat, and me, Katie. All three of us. My friend Nora's cat has four dear little kittens. Each of them has four neat white paws. There are four people in our family. When we go out, we usually take our dog Buster too, and that makes five. Buster likes to chase birds, but he never catches any. Now it's the turn of number five. Five fingers on each hand are very useful for counting. See what you've got. One, two, three, four, five. And here are five falling leaves and five friends meeting in the park. Five of us do ballet together. Amanda and James and Kim and Nora and me. Oh, but when Ollie tries to join in, there are six. Do you know how many there are of us? When Grandma and Grandpa come to visit, there are six of us. Look, Grandpa's number one, then's Katie, two, Grandma, three, Mummy, four, little Ollie, five, and Daddy, six. And when I give my own special tea party in the garden, there are six of us too. Buster is allowed to come as long as he doesn't try to lick the plates. Can you count those plates? Three have got cakes on them and three have got fruit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hooray! Our next number is number seven. Mmm, and there are lots of them. Seven slithering sliders. Mm. I wish I could go on that slide. Seven swift runners and seven stylish hats. Number eight looks very busy with all those bouncy children. I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, where's the other? Oh, number eight is on his bottom on the floor. <laughs> he fell over. I hope he's all right. Yes, he is. He's smiling. Now, who's this all lined up for us? Eight children and one big brown dog. And all together they make nine. Wow, that's a big number. Do you ever use bricks to make a tower or a castle or a house? The question is, is the ninth brick going to make my tower fall down? Yes, crash! But never mind, I can use all those nine bricks to build it again. At last, we've come to the big number ten. 
ten people on a crowded bus. But hooray, here's one gentleman giving up his seat. If he's number ten, then he's a very kind and nice number ten. Thank you. Well, I think we've done very well counting from one to ten. But some things are too many to count, like blossoms falling from a tree, or raindrops into a puddle, or flowers in the springtime, or clouds in the sky going up and up. Numbers go on forever. Well, after all that hard work, it's time to leave Katie and Ollie until the next time. But not before we've had a little train ride. Mm -hmm.